of the smoke. Dominate choke. My bro. What's good, my nieces and nephews of Homie Gang? Yo, Uncle is back again with another video today. And look, 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 look. Today's video got the top three best center builds for y'all on nba 2k25 all right i'm gonna get in this video i'm gonna give y'all best popper build best uh 5v5 uh pro-am rec center build and the best inside center build to use on nba 2k25 all right and if i have time today i will be dropping the top three best jump ju jump shots for each position six four and under six five to six nine and six ten to seven three i will be dropping that late today for y'all if i have time to do that but we just gonna have to see all right um i really really do appreciate and love every single one of y'all and make sure y'all like the video leave a comment leave a comment leave a comment leave your mama subscribe if you are new to the channel nba 2k25 has been kind of iffy to me right now but i i've been loving trying to learn this game i ain't gonna lie the shooting's been pissing me off but it's been pretty fun trying to learn this game and the defense is kind of op makes casuals look really really good but with these center builds you just got to pick your poison on your type of play style and you're going to be dominating the game all right appreciate love every single one of y'all i don't want to hold y'all's time up any much more longer let's get into how to make these center builds right now all right y'all for the first build i'm gonna give y'all the first build i'm gonna give y'all i'm gonna give y'all the pro-am center build pro-am center build all right uh for the handness i go left hand and the jersey number jersey number two because god is first everything else is second in my life for the position center seven foot seven foot 258 pounds with a 7-8 wingspan. Go ahead and max that wingspan. It's going to help you get them boards and get them steals. You feel me? Lane steals. All right, let's get the physicals out the way. You want to go with a 77 overall vertical. 77 overall vert for your strength. You want to go with a 95 overall strength. 95 overall strength. <laughs> get you that brick wall. And it's going to get you tied to get you, you getting box out beast. Uh, you're going to see here in a minute. Uh, 50 overall agility so you don't move uh, super slow left to right and a 67 overall speed you always want to max out your speed to move the fastest on the court especially if you're going to be playing defense primarily or uh, especially at the center position or at the lock position because you're going to be making switches and stuff like that with your center or your lock uh offensive rebound you want to go ahead and put your offensive rebound at 96 uh defensive rebound at 83 you always want to primarily go with offensive rebound when it comes to being a center and a prime because you're going to be wanting to primarily go for them offensive boards it's not uh too hard to get the defensive boards with being a seven uh seven foot but you always want to prioritize getting that offensive boards especially with this game your guard's gonna need a lot of second chance points and having this offensive rebound high is gonna help your guard get a lot of second chance points and when you get your cap breakers at starter three which i'm about to be you're just going to want to throw it all on rebound and then one on uh four on rebound and then one on uh actually three on rebound one on strength you feel me that's going to get you all the these rebound uh, uh rebound uh, legend box out beast legend pogo legend rebound chaser all right and you need that 96 you need that 96 because it ties into your box out beast as, as well to get down legend because you have to have a 96 strength and or a 98 uh 99 rebound uh 98 rebound or 99 defensive rebound you gotta have that okay um for your block we went with a 74 70 wait, wait did we go with 74? 77 actually 77 uh i should go 78 get you that high flying denier at uh on a on silver go 78 go 78 uh go with a 60 overall steal 60 overall steal uh 60 overall prim d 60 overall prim d and then go with an 81 overall interior d 81 overall interior d all right your pass accuracy you want to go with a 91 overall pass act give me this prime you're going to be wanting them throwing them dots up courts especially when you get the board and you got somebody uh out on the rake you're going to want to be throwing them dots uh up the court you want to have that break starter on gold okay so go with the 91 overall pass act uh for your for your three-point shot, you want to go and max that out. Max out your mid-range as well. Get your dead eye, post fade phenom, and set shot specialist. Well, set shot special on silver, and then your other two badges on uh, bronze. Um, like I said, I will be dropping uh, a jump shot video for y'all. For um, in there, my six ten to seven foot centers, you will be getting a jump shot as well. And then you want to go ahead and go at a ninety overall standing. Get you that rise up on uh, gold. <clears throat> it's gonna help you uh 
dunk the ball better. So go with that 90 overall standing dunk, and then you want to raise up your free throw as well. Free throw got to at least be in the 80s this year. Free throw got to be at least be in the 80s. Okay, so I went with an 82. And then realistically, you can low key add the rest on driving dunk if you wanted to, but you really don't need driving dunk when it comes to pro am or vert or your defense uh, uh, defensive rebound. I'm gonna just add it on my defensive rebound right here. Hear me? Went like this. All right, <laughs> and then add the rest on to right, right there. All right, this is the best pro am center build to use. Best five v five rec center build to use on NBA 2K25 right now. Y'all make sure y'all like the video. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Leave a comment of your mama. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Now it's time to get into the best popper build to use on NBA 2K25 right now. All right, if you want a popper piece, you want to go uh, power forward, 6'7", uh, 235 pounds, 235 pounds, and then you want to go with a 7'3 wingspan. I know the 6'7 is kind of ass because that's what like locks heights used to be, but they cooked 6'8 poppers. You cannot make a good 6'8 popper this year. All right. What you want to do is you want to go with 83 overall vert. The higher your vert, the higher you get up and jump for the board. So like, I ain't gonna lie, vert does help you get better boards this year. Go to 83 overall uh, vertical, 85 overall strength. It's just that movable on gold, brick wall still. Um, go with a 77 overall agility, and then go with your an 88 overall speed. Speed, this build literally can keep up. This build can keep up crazy because the speed. All right, go with an 88 overall speed. The build's gonna help you keep up like a lot crazy, you feel me? Especially with making uh, switches. Go with a 92 overall defensive rebound. Get you that rebound chaser, box out beast, uh, pogo on gold. Um, go with an 82 overall offensive rebound. 82 overall offensive rebound. And then go with an 84 overall block. 84 overall block. You get the high flying denier on silver, paint patrol on bronze, pogo stick on gold, okay? And then for our steel, we went with a 94 overall steal. 94 overall steal. Gets us that interceptor on Hall of Fame so we can get them lanes. This is like the comp stage popper build. So if you want to get them lanes crazy, go with the 94 overall steal. And if you get your cap breakers, you can go ahead and get that 99 steal. Legend Glove is crazy in this game. All the other glove badge levels feel kind of ass, but Legend Glove is, is OP. Okay, and Legend Interceptor. And then go with an 85 overall Prim D. As a center, all you really need is 85, especially if you're just, this is gonna be like really for 3v3 or 2v2. All you need is 85 Prim D to guard ISO. Or if you, nobody really ISOs on this game, like, but to guard ISO, all you really need is 85 Prim D. And defense this year is super OP. So like I said, you're really not gonna need to have super high Prim D. And then you wanna go with a 70 overall interior defense, 70 overall interior defense. All right, now for your pass accuracy, you wanna go with 65. I feel like 65 is well well enough. You get that break starter from bronze still, so if you're playing threes, you can throw the, the ball up the court uh, fairly well. And dimer, you still get on bronze as well. I'm telling you, my mans, I helped him make his lockdown build. He, he went with a 55 overall pass accuracy. He still zips passes crazy. Like you don't need pass as a center or a lock because most of the time the guard's gonna come to you, or he's gonna be the guard's gonna be your guard's gonna be in the backcourt wide open, and you're not gonna really like you need to make dots. You're not throwing e league passes playing three v three or two v two in a comp stage park or anything like that, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, you're gonna wait till your guard comes to you for how crazy the lane steals are in this game. You just gotta be patient and wait till your guard comes to you. You're just wasting your uh, overall attributes. Uh, potential attribute uh overall points by raising your pass accuracy high okay uh go with a 79 overall three point shot and then go with the 87 midi 87 midi just in case you get we can get uh you get shifty shooter on silver but also just in case tracy mcgrady base you know was one of the best bases last year just in case we can get tracy mcgrady base this year um, cause last year, Tracy McGrady base, you needed the 87 midi or 87 three. You have that midi just in case they release Tra McGr Tracy McGrady in one of the seasons and you, you already have that three point shot. All right. Um, standing dunk, we went with a 72 on this build 72. You're a popper. So you're going to be shooting. You're not really going to go to the paint. You're going to slip pop and stuff like that. Uh, hold on. Something somewhere is wrong. 72, 70. What did it just go down? It just went down. This is at 82. Uh, 50, 72, 62, 42, 72. Okay. Uh, all right. What just went down? Or speed. All right, there we go. Like that. This is how you want to do it right here. All right, you can go ahead and raise up your free throw. Or you, yeah, just raise up your free throw and then put the rest on your post control. 
All right, this is the best popper build to use on NBA 2K25. I'm telling you, the best popper build. When you get your cap breakers, throw it on all on your steel. That legend glove on a popper build is gonna be, it's gonna come in clutch for you. All right, two way stretch four is the name for this for this build. Two way stretch four. All right, appreciate and love every single one of y'all. Now it's time to get into the last build on the bit list. The best. 69 inside center build the comp stage inside center build on nba 2k25 right now all right now it's time to go with the inside center build you want to go power forward 69 246 pounds with the max wingspan we're going to run through this because there's really no shooting on this build but you're going to want to go to the 90 vert 90 vert just because it helps you just horse over people i'm telling you horse over people and then 3v3 in the stage everybody's sitting block and letting their five nines chuck up shots right now if you don't know what comp stage is it's where the best of the best go play each other best guards best locks best centers and they play in a comp setting 3v3 setting okay so comp stage right now everybody's using uh you feel me these inside centers while their five nine sits on block isos and shoot threes or they set a screen and they just uh run down try to get positioning try to break uh, the other center's box out and just get the board and as an inside center all you're going to be doing is getting the board for your guard with the 99 three-pointer because all these guards are just making 99 three-point uh guards and chucking up shots and hoping their their uh their center gets it which is you and you just get throw it back second chance point because it's really not hard when you got more than one chance to shoot with a 99 three all right you want to go with the 95 overall strength gets you that brick wall on a uh, hall of fame and it's going to get you your movable enforcer as well i'm pretty sure on hall of fame as well uh we're gonna have to see here in a second uh go with a 75 overall agility go with an 80 overall speed um prioritize your offensive rebound and this is where cap breakers is going to come into play it's not hard to get cap breakers this year starter three is not hard i'm about to get started three myself i just hit starter two so starter three is not going to be too hard to get I, I literally just got to complete this bar and i got my cap breakers um so you want to go when i get my cap breakers i would put it all on my offensive rebound get that 99 uh rebound to get a uh, box out beast uh pogo stick rebound chaser um uh, get all those badges right there um and then for our uh defensive rebound i went to a 92 92 de defensive rebound okay for my steel 85 just to get that uh uh gold interceptor get them lane steals uh block we want an 84 just like all the other center builds gets you that paint patrol high flying denier on silver and pogo stick on uh brawn gold i mean uh go with an 87 overall prim gets you that off ball pest on a uh, uh hall of fame and gets you that immovable enforcer on a what's it called movable enforcer on gold challenger silver pig dodger silver you still get on ball menace so you can guard iso a little bit um 82 overall prim uh interior defense gets that post lockdown just in case you do want to use this build for the tools and you might go up against a post score you want to go at a 65 overall pass accuracy like i explained pass accuracy on the last uh build and the build before that well not the prime build but the last build the, the build uh the popper build all you need is break starter dimer on bronze you're gonna your pass is gonna be fine nothing on shooting you are an inside center you're not gonna be shooting you're just literally there for the defense and to get boards and then you are going to want to go with an 81 let me see something's not right 81 overall uh standing on gets you that rise up on silver all right if you really don't care like i would go like this to be honest i would go like this just to get my rise up even higher i'd go like this hold on take this down one more no no one more like this just to get my rise up because rise up is such a good badge but if you don't like it this way you could go the first way i just showed you with the 92 uh defensive rebound but i would do this i honestly would do this right here you know get my my rebounding even higher and then there throw that up right there get your on ball minutes on silver get your on ball minutes on silver all right appreciate and love every single this is the best inside center build on nba 2k25 right here i just gave you the top three uh center builds to use on nba 2k25 you can pick your poison on which one you like which one you're gonna want to go with i would say go with the inside center if you're just literally gonna be playing stage comp stage go with the popper if you're gonna be playing all three game modes like park stage uh 3v3 prime uh because it does help your guard be able to shoot but if your guard just chucks up shots he's on a 5-9 with a 99 three or something like that go with the inside and then for the rec prime go with the first builder of course all right it's been your boy everybody's favorite uncle on youtube your uncle hk